continuing the celebrations of the gravitational wave signal detected from neutron stars, I have Joseph Taylor who jointly won the Nobel Prize for discovering the first ever binary neutron star system. Here he is to tell you more. Well, the Hulse-Taylor pulsar is, is a particular object uh, that spins very rapidly and is strongly magnetized and moves in a, a very tight orbit around another star. So picture two objects, two uh, objects each about as massive as, as our sun, uh, but spinning very rapidly. One of them sends out beams of radio emission that we can pick up here on Earth. And those beams, as, because the thing turns around, sweeps out and, and points at the Earth only once per rotation, we get a pulse. That's where the name pulsar comes from. Uh, the reason the Hulse-Taylor pulsar was particularly an important discovery is it uh, is in such a fast-moving orbit that it allowed us to test very accurately the predictions of Einstein's relativity theory. It enabled us to measure the loss of energy from the orbiting system in the form of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were predicted uh, in effect by Einstein's equations as published in 1915, but Einstein himself uh, never thought they would be detectable because they were too weak. And uh, as it turns out, there are few astro astronomical systems, such as this particular binary pulsar, that allow us to measure the loss of energy in the waves and to see whether it agrees with the predictions of the theory, as in fact it does. And most recently, it has enabled other uh, physicists with an experiment to detect the uh, gravitational waves directly on the Earth. That was a very exciting discovery just about a year ago. Well, my favorite pulsar would certainly be that particular one discovered in 1974, but it's like uh, asking a, a parent uh, for a, fair, a favorite child. We, lo we love all of our children, <laughs> and I love all pulsars that I've ever discovered or, or had the pleasure of, of observing. Each one is a little different, each one is uh, interesting for different reasons, and uh, we love them all. How many pulsars have you discovered? Uh, I myself have been involved in, this, in the discovery of about 300. Uh, <laughs> where there are now uh, closer to, to 3,000. Something like 2,500 are, are known and they're still being discovered fairly rapidly.